Hey guys, it's Joelle with Open Road Chronicles, and today we're going to be talking about Stacy and Justin, also known as opting out of normal. These guys were the second story that we featured when we decided to start sharing other people's adventures on Open Road Chronicles. Stacy and Justin shared a lot of information about what it was like for them work camping, so I'm excited to share with you guys what they talked about on our blog post. For Justin and Stacy, their monthly budget for RVing is $1,800 a month. So in order for them to recoup um, their funds, their savings, and everything they need to get back on the road, they would work camp. And that is one, a great way to get to know your area, two, a great way to know other RVers, and then three, a great way to make a little extra money if that is your only means of funds. They live debt free, so they have no monthly payments or anything like that. So for them, they really do get to live day to day and enjoy just having that money and using it for what they really need it for. Before they hit the road, I believe they said that they were able to get out of debt. So to have the opportunity, especially as being as young as they are and having no kids in the RV, being able to just be on the road and enjoying life debt-free probably is a very liberating thing. Probably their biggest thing for advice about work camping is knowing exactly what you want and what benefits you get from work camping. You don't want to go in completely blind. You want them to know what you're expecting out of it and you need to know what they're expecting out of it as well. Knowing what the job requires and the hours expected and how many months you have to stay there. Some people, a lot of people do seasonal jobs. So you can't just be there for like two months and then leave. They need to train you just like a normal job and you have to be able to stay there for a certain amount of time. When they are not work camping, they are probably boondocking. They are not the kind of people that like to stay in campgrounds. They like to go off grid. They enjoy being away from campgrounds, not being hooked up. So they have a lot of good information for that as well. They boondock 90% of the time. Not only is it a very liberating thing to be able to boondock, it's also a very cost effective thing because you really don't have to hook up to anything. You don't have to pay to hook up to anything. You just take your home with you and you are set. So <laughs> budgets for our viewers can range from 500 to $5,000 depending on who you are and what you're looking for in this lifestyle. So to have the opportunity to be off grid for them is amazing and it's the way to go for them. Let's get into how they boondock. They have solar panels. They use those. They hooked those up pretty early on after they got their RV. It was brand new so the only remodeling they really did was updating for the capability of boondocking. I'm gonna be looking away because they wrote a lot of information down and I wanna make sure I get it right for you guys. So the batteries they use are uh, 690 amp power off lead acid batteries to supply the power grid by the solar panels. So that just means that the solar panels, if you don't know how this works, solar panels are on the, solar panels are on the top of your RV or wherever you choose to have them. In a lot of cases on the top for RVers and you have a connection and that connection the solar power goes through to the batteries and the batteries are connected to the RV pretty much and that is how you get your power so it's not just straight from the solar panels you need batteries as well so along with all of this they installed a go power 2000 watt inverter charger so again that just makes everything a little bit more efficient since they are off grid 90% of the time this is something I would recommend to someone if they're going to do this as well because you want to make sure <laughs> you want to make sure everything works everything is backed up and you're not going to run out of power when you need it most something fun to talk about for a little bit we asked stacy and justin what their favorite experience has been while our being these guys are so humble their answer was helping others can you believe it I mean, to, to be able to be out of debt and travel the country and do pretty much anything you want, all they want to do is give back. One of the examples of them being so kind and generous in this lifestyle of our being was when they went and helped um, the, the survivors of, yeah, is when they helped the survivors of Hurricane Harvey in Texas. That place was devastating and they went out of their way to go help those people after and recover and do as much as they can for just three weeks straight. So I can only imagine how amazing that experience was to be able to give back to 
a state that wasn't even yours and have the opportunity to travel and do that for someone. All right, last question for them was what were their plans with this RVing lifestyle? So this was back in the beginning of this last year in 2018 and nothing really has changed much. These guys still explore, they still travel a lot. They were just visiting their family and they are so kooky and I am so in love with following their journey. So they don't have expectations with how long they plan on traveling. They just want to travel as long as they can and probably stop once their kids decide to have their kids and be a part of their lives as grandparents. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much, Stacy and Thank you guys so much, Stacy and Justin. I am so excited to see where the RVing life takes you guys next. <laughs> so is Emma. <laughs> and thank you guys for being a part of Open Road Chronicles, especially one of our earlier stories. It is always nice to look back and see what you guys wrote and see where you guys are now. So thank you guys so much for reading. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of this video and happy new year.